Hi, I'm Jana. And I'm Greg from Cutting Edge Stencil. Today we're going to show you how to create a beautiful feature wall using a wall stencil. Feature or accent walls are the latest rage in wall decorating. It's so simple and the results are amazing. Here's what you'll need. Your cutting edge stencil, a clip-on stencil level, a dense foam roller with rounded ends, a stencil brush for edges and corners, latex or acrylic paints, a large styrofoam plate, low-tack painter's tape, and paper towels. First, make sure your wall is clean and dust-free. Stenciling over a flat base coat works best. Mask off the ceiling, trim, and floorboards. Since we're doing an accent wall, mask off the sidewalls as well. It's nice to start on a section of the wall that allows you to do an uninterrupted floor-to-ceiling row. This establishes a perfect vertical in which to build left and right. For this wall, we're using our Casablanca stencil. Slide the clip-on stencil level onto the bottom edge of your stencil. Make sure the level sits firmly against the edge of the stencil. Flip your stencil upside down to allow the top of the stencil to get right up to the ceiling crease. Check to make sure your stencil is level and secure it with four to six pieces of low-tack painter's tape. Now pour some of the paint that you've selected onto your styrofoam plate. Load your dense foam roller by rolling it over the paint a few times. Press on the roller as you do it so it absorbs the paint evenly. Now blot off the excess paint on a folded paper towel. This is a very important step not to be skipped. Now roll the stencil with your roller using light to medium pressure. Excessive pressure may cause paint seepage under the stencil. Be careful not to roll over the outside edges of the stencil. You can easily check how you're doing by carefully untaping and lifting one corner of the stencil and taking a peek. If it's too pale, just put the stencil back and roll it a few more times back and forth, adding slightly more pressure. Remove the stencil slowly so the blue tape doesn't accidentally pull off any background paint. Look how great that looks. Reposition the stencil to continue down the wall. The paint dries quickly, so no need to wait. This stencil, like many of our stencils, locks in with itself. Simply line up your stencil with the previously painted parts, check for level, and continue. Don't worry if it doesn't line up perfectly, and don't roll over the previously painted areas. This gives you a seamless look and allows you to continue around the room. After a couple of prints, you'll need to reload your stencil roller with more paint. Avoid the temptation of pressing too hard on the roller to squeeze out the last bit of paint. Now repeat the process until you're finished. No need to clean the stencil in between repeats. This stencil is good for many repeats before it needs to be cleaned. It's time to clean the stencil only if your paint buildup starts to compromise the design. When you reach the edge, simply bend the stencil, tape it in place, and roll right into the crease. You can get deeper into the crease with a stencil brush. Carefully remove the stencil and blue tape to reveal how clean the edge turns out. The same step goes for sidewalls and trim, rolling into the creases and finishing it off with a stencil brush. Again, remove the stencil and tape to reveal the clean edges. To fill in those gaps at the ceiling line, you can use your large stencil, but it gets cumbersome and tends to flop down. That's why we've included this special top part stencil designed just for this purpose. Align the top part using the painted parts as registration. Tape it in its place and roll into the crease and finish off with the stencil brush. Remove the stencil and continue with the next row. This simple technique can unlock the door to endless decorative possibilities, especially with cutting edge stencils. It's beautiful, made easy. 